Coming back with another bulls eye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to talk about a very dope, you know, a mindset type of thing when it comes to how to glue your mixes together. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop more suggestions down below. And if y'all want to check out any of the templates or the really dope gem pack courses that we got, you're going to see them in the link down below. So let's go. Let's get to that right now. Take it off and take it out on me You calling him no answer A text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted I hear your cries Ya no llores por ese ignorante Es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte I know you tired of the lies, the excuses The truth is the love that you giving him He abuses Es tu prometido Y solamente te pido que no recibas a all right, a really dope, very dope uh, type of song that we got here today from the artist. So the most important thing for me is I oft oftentimes think about how do I glue, how can I glue my mixes together? What actually makes a, you know, a mix cohesive together? So the very first thing that you want to do as an engineer is close your mouth and open up your ears and listen to what is the theme of the music. Oftentimes, I feel like when people, you know, try to mix a track, you know, right after that, after they're done recording, they already trying to, they trying to jump in the game. They trying to jump and they trying to do the effects. They trying to apply to all the knowledge while it's still hot. You know, they trying to strike the iron while it's still hot. But the first thing you want to do as a mixing engineer, which is extremely important, is to be considerate of the music. You know, when you finish recording, first thing you want to do is you want to sit back, press play and let the music play on the speakers. I know the tracks aren't gonna sound already done it's not already finished it's not already sounding like how you want it to but you got to sit back and listen and it's kind of like a conversation where the music is going to tell you what it needs it's going to say okay well i need some water okay i need some chips and some cookies the music is going to tell you what it's hungry for so listening to a song like this we're paying attention to the lyrics. We're paying attention to the hook. It sounds like one of those uh, heartbreak type of love making songs, you know, over the phone, late night type of riding in the street type of vibes or whatever. So that instantly is telling me emotionally that I want to make this song intimate. That's the word that comes to mind. I think it's healthy if you sit back, you listen to the whole song and ask yourself, what's one word that could describe my song? when you mixing it, you feel me? To give yourself a mental head start on how you gonna approach the mix, you feel me? Um, so it's a situation where I said, okay, I want it to be intimate. So when I think of intimacy, I think of warmth. You know, warmth, I think of closeness, proximity, you feel me, love, you feel me, type shit. So I said, okay, I'm going to make this uh, a Neve style type of mix. So very first thing I used was the Neve 33609 bus compressor. I'm using the uh, Legacy SE version. I like it a lot because it's a situation where I'm not getting Getting any of the components but the Neve uh, compression is still very beautiful this is a bus compressor so this is how I'm starting off kind of like my, my my costume party my theme party you feel me um just using this compressor right here and it's it's pretty dope because it's a compressor and limiter you know I'm gonna throw back compressors like the Fairchild in 1176 you always see it says compressor slash limiter but this is actually one of them dope compressors that lets you pick between uh, both the compressor and the limiter section so it's re really dope stuff right here and let's look at that real fast take it off and take it out on me you calling him no answer a text with no reply he ignores you takes you for granted I hear your cries Ya no llores por ese ignorante, es un cobarde, perdido tiempo no puede comprarte, I know you tired of so oftentimes when people say, I'm trying to glue my mix together, the very first thing they think about, is this the bus compressor? It got to be the SSLG bus compressor with the Dr. Dre settings. But that's not the truth, though. Gluing your mix together is more like a mindset, you feel me? Just because you take a bunch of papers and you put a stapler on them together, they might be connected, but they're not necessarily glue. What is glue? Glue is the cohesion between the instruments. Glue is not only the sonic cohesion, but it got to be the emotional cohesion. You feel me? Sometimes when somebody says a certain set of words, that the, the certain set of words might not match their mood. You feel me? And that's kind of how a rough mix is. It's like a situation if I walked in, you say, yo, Nick, how you doing today, bruh? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing good. You That wouldn't really be too convincing because my words ain't matching my tone you feel me so it's always a situation like that in music as an engineer you want to make the tone of the music match the message you feel me so that's why we use the Neve 33609 first bus compressor giving some of that warmth okay now a strategy i like to call this in my head is 
ain't that your auntie's mama's cousin? I try to use plugins that are related to each other to glue a mix together rather than putting it all on that poor little boy, that poor little jit bus compressor. I'm not trying to tell little boy bus compressor to put the whole team on his back and be responsible to glue the mix together. No, that's my job. I'm the engineer. I'm the capitan. Okay, so I'm using the Neve 88RS knowing that it's related to the, uh, the Neve 33609. Ain't that your auntie's cousin's uncle? You feel me? Like if we went to a family reunion and I put these two plugins together, I would be like, damn, ain't y'all kind of related because they have the same tonal quality. So I use the Neve 88RS on his lead vocal because I know this is a very smooth type of channel strip. Again, I'm using the legacy version. Now, you can do this with any brand of plugins. I'm just showing you a mindset, an approach to make your mix it sound cohesive. Maybe you might want to use plugins that are related to each other because they introduce the same tonal quality. You feel me? So... It's like a costume party, the uh, the Halloween party. You feel me? The bus compressor showing dressed up as Batman and the channel strip is showing dressed up as Spider-Man. You feel me? But OK, it's a party. You feel me? I can understand that this is uh, a costume party because look, at they dress like superheroes. So that's what you got to do psychologically to the listener. Give them tonal cohesiveness, emotional cohesiveness. You know what I mean? So we use this on the vocal. Take it off and take it out on me You calling him no answer A text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted I hear your cry Ya no llores por ese ignorante Es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte I know you tired of the lies, the excuses The truth is the love that you giving him He abuses Es tu prometido so we're welcoming that Neve 88 RS to the family. You feel me? To the family reunion. Come on down. Come on in. And this one is actually very different. The Neve 33609 is using diode bridge compressor. So it has diodes in it. But the compressor section of the Neve 88 RS is using VCA compression, which has like, you know, two different actions. You feel me? Um, so it's very interesting. And I also love the Neve 88 RS because it has a very smooth musical types of shapes. I don't really use analog modeled uh, channel strips usually. I don't try to use analog model plugins that much, only when I want those musical EQ curves. Because when you go on Fab Filter, right, and you start like, okay, boosting and like cutting and all that stuff, it doesn't have the same shapes as if you would do it on an SSL, you know? So those are usually the times I would go to an analog model plugin, usually when I'm maybe boosting very lightly because I'm getting musical curves and shapes, vibes, you feel that natural figure, that natural shape, I'm getting that. So that's when I, I might use something like that, right? So the next plugin that's a part of the the, the family, right? The, the theme, the costume party was the uh, decapitator. And I'm understanding that, okay, I did a little research on my plugins and that the end part of Decapitator is actually related to them boys because it's modeling a Neve. I think, what is it? Uh, it's a modified Neve, like a 1057 or something like that, that has uh, germanium transistors in it too. You feel me? So that's that's very dope in its sense. I know that um, there's also another, you know, plugin that would be kind of related to the family too, not necessarily uh, by the, the brand, but maybe by the components, which would be the germanium, because the germanium, it has diodes in it, you feel me? And it has those, there's germanium, it's diode bridge and it's germanium transistor. So that, that was already playing in my head. Oh, I know another family, another set of twins that kind of look like each other, but they auntie's mama's cousins related type shit like that. So this is how I'm developing the cohesiveness for the mix, okay? The bus compressors need, the channel strip on the vocals need. Now the little bit of distortion on the ad libs that I want to uh, feel like he's talking over the phone is going to be needed as well take it off and take it out on me you calling him no answer a text with no reply he ignores you takes you for granted i hear your cry ya no llores por ese ignorante es un cobarde perdido tiempo no puede comprarte i know you tired of the lies the excuses the truth is the love that you giving them he abuses es tu prometido y solamente te pido que no recibas so you hear just the, the, the emotional context of the ad libs. Listen to what the artist is saying, you feel me? Because that's going to make it very obvious what type of processing you got to do. It's going to be very obvious, like a tour guide pointing you north, south, east, west. You feel me? What the, the, the artist is saying emotionally will guide you. It will direct you to know what plugins you got to use. He's saying, ah... Ah, you just hear in the tone of his voice that it's got to be something that has some edge. He's not saying, yeah, yeah, <laughs> whoa. He's not, you feel me, the tonal quality of that. You feel me? He could say, yeah, yeah, even though 
it might be the same exact word. It might not have the same emotional impact behind it. You feel me what I'm talking about? Even though I'm saying, oh, how you doing today, Nick? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. My words might not be a matching my emotions. You feel me? So it's all about making things glued emotionally. You feel me? There's no plug-in. There's no, oh, it's quick cheat code. There's no, oh my God. Uh, uh, I see a lot of people, when they mix, they start thinking numbers like this shit is a math test. I don't know about child boys, but man, I was trash at math in school, bro. I see some people mixing like this. They mix it like, okay, you got to go negative 1.2, uh, negative 3.5. Then you got to divide negative 5.6 by negative 3.6, okay? Then I brought back negative 1.5. Then I, then I divided it by negative 3.6 and negative 8.1.2. Okay, then I carried over the 3 on the EQ. Then I brought, like, I'm like, bro, these niggas talking numbers. Whoa, what the hell? That's the thing about making music. It's not a numbers. It's not a numbers game. It's not a math test. It's an emotional test. You feel me? It's an emotional test to see if you could pass it, you know, you could pass on the message to the audience, right? Some uh, two more uh, honorable, you know, family members who showed up to the reunion was the Neve uh, 73, okay? Shep 73, different plug-in brand, but still in the family. So you could come on down to the, to come and eat, come to the plate and eat with us, okay? I use this trick right here, which is the vocal air trick, um, where I did a little bit of drive on the Neve, right? And this is helping me get some brightness because so far I'm getting warmth, straight up warmth, right? I was talking about I'm getting warmth, but now I want to balance it out a little bit with some air. But I'm not going to use no boost in EQ. I'm going to use a little bit of distortion from this Neve 73. I'm going to drive it just a little bit, and then I'm going to blend it back in parallel in the understanding the components, the transistors. You feel me? The transistors have a certain buzz, a certain edge, a certain sparkle, a certain tinkle bell, Disney Channel, bum, 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 type of sparkle that I'm going to blend back in. Your Take it off and take it out on me You calling him no answer A text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted I hear your cries Ya no llores por ese ignorante Es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte I know you tired of the lies, the excuses The truth is the love that you giving them He abuses Es tu prometido a very beautiful way of getting a little bit of air. So when I think about intimacy, I'm coming back as I'm mixing, I'm making my moves, I'm checking myself, I'm making sure everybody in the family is okay. You straight, you done ate, you got your plate, you got your chicken, you got your macaronis. I'm seeing this like a situation where it's a family reunion. Everything is being cohesive. So at that point, I'm checking myself and I was like, okay, intimacy, right? Warmth. Right. When you come up to somebody, right, you hug somebody that you love, you feel warm in your heart, your body temperature, literally both of your body temperature literally starts to get warmer. I wanted to create a warm glow around the vocal as well. So a glow is something that has a little bit of brightness. That's why I'm using this type of brightness. You know, on your iPhone, there's different levels of brightness. They're super bright, like bright light. And then there's kind of like mild bright. So that's what I was using this Shep 73. And the last thing that I use to glue it all together, because like we're trying to say, gluing is a mindset, right? It's not just that SSO bus compressor. It's not just those fractions, those negative 1.5, negative 2.6, negative 1.5.9 for 30,000 carried over. To you feel me? It's funny when people try to like show, like, like they try to show people they're mixing like that because it's like, an AI can do that way better than you. You feel me? So you just really greasing and oiling yourself up for an AI to take your job when you're talking numbers. So as an engineer, try, never try to talk numbers. You feel me? Just never, just never try to talk numbers. Maybe the numbers are a good reference point, but when you're mixing, know that them numbers is not law. Know that those numbers are not no boundaries. You are an artist. Artists don't have no boundaries. You, when you're mixing, you're supposed to let your mind and your imagination run free. That's why I call it ear imagination. I coined that term ear imagination. When you mix, you got to use your ear imagination. You hear them lyrics and you say, okay, he's talking about love, warm, intimate glow. Now you relating that to your mixing moves. Last trick. Shout out to my boy Tay Nose. You feel me? Okay, so this is the last trick that I've been using lately. How to get brightness through reverb, a really short reverb. Uh, you can use uh, Valhalla Vintage Delay too, but I'm using an ambience reverb. So this is creating like a light early reflections. And I love this plugin right here because nobody's using this plugin right here. I never seen nobody really use this plugin. I just knew Dr. Dre used it and UAD had a emulation. So I've been using it lately. And it has this gem of a preset in it, which is called the 70s R&B air so it creates a light glow around the vocal and I like to reduce the delay time to somewhere around under a second because ambience reverbs that's what they're good at they create early reflections which is like the first sound of the the, the shit hitting the wall pretty much so it adds brightness
Take it off and take it out on me You calling him no answer A text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted I hear you cry Ya no llores por ese ignorante Es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte I know you tired of the lies, the excuses The truth is the love that you giving him He abuses, es tu prometido Y solamente te pido que no recibas a pedido De ese caso perdido, he online flex You calling him no answer, a text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted, I hear your cries Ya no llores por ese ignorante, es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte So that's pretty much the end of the family reunion. I mean, that's pretty much the end of the damn video here today. How to glue your damn mix together. It don't got nothing to do with no bus compressor. It got everything to do with your mind, imagination, your heart, your life experiences, and how you want to relate it to your mixing moves. So that's pretty much the end of the video here today. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I just wanted to get on this to, 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 to squash it and cut it right at the root. This is not how you glue a mix with a bus compressor you do it through your mindset and your continuous moves so i just want to say thanks a lot i appreciate you my youtube game don't forget to check the links down below if you want to support the channel appreciate y'all now peace